Hi guys, I'm back with even more books to show you. I know in the past I had said that I was only going to buy books from certain authors, um, but since then I've basically abandoned that idea. I'm sorry if that's confusing at all, but I just change my mind a lot all the time pretty much, so I'm sorry about that. But despite my worries, collecting books is very fun and addicting, as you all know, so I really can't help it. So anyways, let's start with a couple YA books. The first one that I got is Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. This is the third book in the Chaos Walking trilogy, and I've read the first two, and I can't wait to read this one. Even though I am very behind on my reading challenges, I would really like to complete at least one of them, so I've been focusing a lot on my 12-12-12 challenge, in which I will be reading 12 nonfiction books, 12 classics, and 12 sequels by December 12, 2012. So this book is part of that challenge, and I really want to wrap up a lot of my series that I've started. And so far, that's been going really well. The next book I got is Tiger's Quest by Colleen Houck. The second book in the Tiger Saga. The first one was Tiger's Curse, and as you know from my reading summary, I really enjoyed that, and I can't wait to get to this one as well. Although that might not be for a while because this isn't part of my reading challenge, sadly. But I really can't wait to read it, and it's so cool looking. And these two books have like the same color scheme, so that's kind of interesting. Those were the only two YA I got this time around. Um, there are some others that will be coming in the mail still. These next few books are all adult fiction, and they're mostly random books that I've been wanting for a long time, and I finally got them. First, we have The Green Mile by Stephen King. This is a used copy, so there is a crease on the cover, unfortunately, but the spine is in very good condition, and overall the quality is really well, considering how old this book is. And the previous owner left this American Airlines boarding pass in it. I guess they were using it as a bookmark. That's cool. Um, anyways, I really loved this movie. It's one of my favorite movies, actually. I thought it would be really neat to read the book, and especially since it's by Stephen King. He's such a well-loved author, and I've actually not read any of his books. Um, I did read parts of a book, I think it was called Nightmares and Dreamscapes, um, that was a collection of short stories, and I did read some of those, but other than that, I haven't read any of his novels, and I thought I would start with this one. Since I'm already familiar with the story, and I am very curious to experience it in its original form. The next four books are all Margaret Atwood novels. I got Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood, and I love this cover, it's really neat. And these books have a really classy looking spine. I think this book is about a woman who is reminiscing about her childhood and it explores the experiences we go through as kids, like the friendships, betrayals, and it shows how cruel kids can be to each other. At least that's what it sounds like it's about, but I could be completely wrong. I also finally got Surfacing. I've been wanting to read this for quite a while. I think it's about a woman who is looking for her missing father. It says it's a part detective novel, part psychological thriller. And one of my favorite booktubers, Crystal from Vanilla Hearts 62, really enjoys this book and she says there's a lot of metaphors in it so I can't wait to read it. It sounds like it'll be a book that really makes you think and you can analyze it. Those kind of books do tend to be more slower paced but they are very rewarding to read so I can't wait to read this. Again, I really like the cover for this one and the spine, and because it's so short, I might be able to squeeze it in somewhere in between my challenge readings. The last two Margaret Atwood books that I got are ones that I've actually already read. I just wanted to get them in hardcover version, so that is Oryx and Crake and The Year of the Flood. And no, these are not the matching editions. I just preferred this cover over the other one. And I also love the way this one looks. Um, that's the spine. This is actually the version that I read when I checked it out from the library, so I'm kind of attached to this and I just had to have it. I do still really love the paperback ones. They're really beautiful. I just felt the need to have the paperbacks and the hardcovers. That's kind of weird, isn't it? But 
I just really love these books and I actually wouldn't mind owning every version of them. Yeah, I don't really know what the point of that would be, but just a little crazy. The last adult fiction book that I got is the one that I'm the most excited about, but I doubt that anyone else will really care. It's pretty random, but it's just very nostalgic for me. And that is Parasite Eve by some very nice gentleman whose name I cannot pronounce, but it is translated by Tyran Grillo. Parasite Eve is a Japanese science fiction horror novel, and there's actually a video game of the same name that came out in 1998, I believe. Um, it was actually one of many PlayStation 1 games that I played as a kid, and I remember liking the game and the music was awesome, but the main thing that I remember is that I was in awe of the concept. The idea of mitochondria as parasites that awaken and control the human body. I just thought it was really neat. At the time, I didn't fully understand the science behind it, the biological concepts, but I was just very fascinated by it. I never realized that the video games were sequels to a book, and that would be this book right here. This book expands on the endosymbiotic theory, which put really briefly is the idea that mitochondria, the energy producing organelles of our cells, were originally free living bacteria type organisms that eventually merged with the cell as a symbiotic relationship evolved between them. So it takes that theory and sculpts it into a sci-fi horror plot. And it also relates to the mitochondrial Eve concept, which is where the mitochondrial DNA are inherited exclusively through the maternal line. So that's where the concept of the Eve comes from. And I'm assuming that was the inspiration for the title, Parasite Eve. And I believe the story of this book revolves around the battle between this Parasite Eve and a man who is trying to save his wife. I have a list of books that I'm thinking of reading in October, and I might have to add this to the list as well. The last two books I have to show you are manga or graphic novels. Um, the first one is sitting on the shelf over there. It is Princess Mononoke. It is a cute little film comic based on the movie. It has full color pictures. This is one of my favorite Miyazaki films, although they are all excellent. Um, you should definitely check them out if you haven't. This is volume one and I do want to collect all of them just because they're so neat. And even though it's paperback, it does have a dust jacket, which is pretty cool. I really enjoyed the environmental message of this film and I can't wait to read the film comic. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. And for this next one, Crystal, you would be so proud. I decided to try the Sailor Moon manga. I definitely want to try this out soon. It looks really cute and I just brings back a lot of memories of the show, which I did enjoy when I was younger. I still like it now, but it is a very different experience. But this book did look really fun and I finally gave in and got it. That was my In My Mailbox video. I know I'm going a little crazy this month with the book buying and there's still a lot on the way actually. It is a little overwhelming but exciting at the same time of course. Thanks for watching guys. Bye! I finally decided to try the Sailor Moon slime.